Hello, my dear students. How are all of you doing? I hope all are fine. All are healthy at your homes, and all are doing a great job. All are doing very hard work to complete the work assigned by the subject teachers. Right. So, students, uh, once again, welcome back to the maths class, the maths world. And uh, once again, myself Vinita, I am here to teach you grade six maths. And so, let's get ready for this. and as you all know that this is the part 2 video of the chapter number 6 in teachers and the part 1 video we have shared in that video we have learned about the basics of in teachers if anyone who is watching this video and has not watched the previous one video then it's a humble request that please go and watch the previous one video because in that video we have discussed about the basics of the in teachers in which we have done the introduction with the in teachers so that's very important If you want to understand the content of this video, then it will be better if you watch the first one video. It will be more helpful for you. So, students, uh, I would like to recall here that what we have done in the integers part one video. We have done the introduction with the integers, and I would like to recall that that integers. is a set of numbers integers is a category of numbers in which we include all the numbers which are starting from 0 1 2 3 and going up to infinity means all these numbers like 0 1 2 3 all these positive numbers are also included in 0 but apart from these some more numbers are included in the set of integers and those numbers are the negative of these numbers like we are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 10 100 1000 10 10 like infinity we are having all the negative numbers of these numbers are also included in integers so integer is what integer is a category of number like whole number like natural number this is the third category and in this we include all negative whole numbers all positive whole numbers and zero while in whole numbers we were having only positive numbers and zero and in integers we are also having the negative numbers and i would also like to recall you that uh, how do we represent the integers on a number line that we have learned in the previous one video as you can see here that there is a number line in front of you and uh, here we are having this line in which we have marked in the center zero is marked over there exactly in the middle of the line we have marked zero and in the right hand side of zero we are writing all the positive numbers as we have also learned in the previous uh, chapter hall number then while we are moving towards the right side the numbers are always increasing and while we are moving to the left side the numbers are always decreasing and that is the reason that in the left hand side of zero we have written all the negative integers so this is how do we represent the numbers on the number line what we do we draw a straight line in the center of the line we mark zero exactly in the center of the line and in the right hand side we start writing the numbers all positive number like 1 2 3 4 and so on when in the left hand side of zero we write the negative numbers like minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on so this is the way we represent the integers on the number line and we have done this in a very detailed way in the previous one video so uh, now i would like to move ahead but before moving ahead i would like to uh, clear one more thing that uh, in integers and whole numbers and natural numbers what is the common thing and what is the difference in natural numbers as you can see this picture that we are having a circle in which we have written the natural numbers then we are having a rectangle in which we have written whole numbers and the set of whole numbers is completely covering the circle of natural numbers what is conveying this picture this picture is conveying that all the natural numbers are included in whole numbers as we have also done in the previous one uh, chapter that all the natural numbers are included in whole numbers that's why we also use a, a line as a fact that all natural numbers are whole numbers and that same thing we are indicating with this pictures and then there is a bigger uh, rectangle 
in which we have written integers and that rectangle is covering both the natural numbers and the whole numbers means all natural numbers and whole numbers are all included in integers and apart from these natural numbers and whole numbers what is the different thing in integers which is not present in whole numbers and natural numbers that are negative numbers that we are having negative numbers like minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 all negative numbers we are having in integers which are not in whole numbers and not in natural numbers so it's very important for you to understand that what is the similarity and what is the difference between natural numbers and whole numbers that all natural numbers and all whole numbers are included in integers and the difference between integers and whole numbers and natural numbers is this that in whole numbers and natural numbers we are not including any negative numbers while in integers we are including the negative numbers and no other fractional part no other fractional numbers are included in these three categories now moving ahead i would like to come to our next topic and the topic is ordering of integers means what should be the order of integers we have also discussed a little bit of this topic in the previous video when we were marking the integers on the number lines and where I have told you that uh, what is the major uh, difference between positive numbers and in negative numbers. In positive numbers, the numbers are written like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 means we are writing like this increasing order. The negative numbers are also written in increasing order but as discussed in the previous one video that a negative number as much as the number is bigger that number is considered to be as much smaller. So that is the reason that we write the negative numbers like this. That first of all if I have to write all these uh, numbers in the form of negative numbers then how will I write? Minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and then there will be 0 why because numbers are always written in increasing order and in negative numbers the bigger number is always smaller as much the number is bigger as much it is smaller and we have cleared this concept very strongly in the previous one video that's why i was asking you to please watch the previous one video if anyone is having any confusion here then please go and watch the previous video because everything regarding these negative numbers i have told you there so students always keep this thing in your mind that in negative numbers as much the number is bigger the value of that number is always that much smaller if i ask you that what is the largest negative number like the negative numbers are starting from uh, minus of 10 minus of 9 minus of 8 minus of 7 minus of 6 minus of 5 minus of 4 minus of 3 minus of 2 minus of 1 so if i ask you that what is the largest negative number then minus 1 will be the largest negative number because the case of negative number is just reverse the case of positive number if you're having positive number like 10 9 8 7 and going up to 1 then you will see that 10 is the largest number but in the case of negative number it is just reverse minus of 10 is the smallest here and minus of 1 is the biggest one as we keep on moving in negative numbers the value of the number keeps on decreasing if you're having minus of 100 minus of 90 minus of 80 minus of 70 minus of 60 minus of 50 minus of 40 minus of 30 minus of 20 minus of 10 and so on so in this case if someone asks you that find the largest negative number and the smallest negative number then the number present here on the screen in front of you minus of 10 will be the largest and minus of 100 will be the smallest in these numbers 
so what i am trying to explain is that in negative numbers the case is just opposite of the positive numbers that in negative numbers the value is going as much bigger the number is going on increasing but the value of the number is going on as much decreasing the bigger number is the smaller number the smaller number is the bigger number if there is a question in front of you that there is written 570 and on the other side it's written 5 uh, okay 85 and there is a filling uh, the blank in between both the numbers and you have to give the sign of this and both numbers are having negative sign in front of them minus of 570 and minus of 85 and you are asked to put a sign between them then how will you decide that the number is uh, smaller or bigger than the other minus of 570 is bigger in positive case and minus of 85 is smaller in positive case but there is a minus sign with them means they are negative numbers and what is the rule regarding the negative numbers then in negative numbers the number is as much bigger is considered to be as much smaller so what does it conclude it concludes that minus of 570 is smaller smaller than minus of 85 so which symbol this one symbol will be used at minus of 570 is smaller than minus of 85 for more clarity we will have some more examples so you can see here that i have written some more examples for you minus of 3 and minus of 2 we have to insert one of these symbols this one is of greater and this one is of smaller than so minus of 3 and minus of 2 here minus of 3 is smaller than minus of 2 so we will use this symbol why again i will repeat the same fact about negative number that in negative numbers as much the number is bigger the value of that number is as much smaller minus of 69 and minus of 96 which one will be the smaller which will be the bigger minus of 69 is obviously greater than minus of so ordering of integers uh, means how to order the integers and i think i have uh, told you very well that uh, integers are including the positive integers integers are including negative integers and zero means positive numbers negative numbers and zero these are included and i have told you that uh, negative numbers the value as much as bigger the that number is that much smaller so that is the reason that we write the numbers like this means if i'll start from minus of 5 then minus of 5 minus of 4 minus of 3 minus of 2 minus of 1 then 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 so this is how Uh, ordering of integers is done means after minus 1 what comes next after minus 1 comes 0 and after 0 all positive numbers are started in an increasing order as we all know so this is how do we order the integers and whenever you have to represent the numbers on the number line then you will all represent the numbers in this way as i have told you that starting from the center we will write zero in the center in the right hand side of zero we will write all positive numbers in the left hand side of zero we will write all negative numbers and <clears throat> negative numbers are written like this minus 8 minus 7 minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and zero the reason i have told you so uh, let's see these try these uh, of your ncert book compare the following pairs uh, of numbers using greater or lesser we have done this previously so i think it's more easy for you we have 0 and minus 8 and we have to insert a symbol 
obviously here zero will be greater than minus eight. Why? Because negative numbers are always smaller than the positive numbers. So zero is greater than minus eight. Anyone is having confusion? Then I would like to repeat that zero is neither a positive integer, neither a negative integer. Zero is just a zero. And the negative in the negative numbers, zero is greater than all negative numbers. Five and minus five. So which symbol will use? Obviously, between a positive and a negative number, the positive number is always greater. Then zero and six. These are positive. Obviously, six is greater than zero, and zero is less than six. Now minus one and minus fifteen. So what can we say here? According to the rule of negative numbers, that minus of one is greater than minus of fifteen. Between eleven and fifteen, obviously eleven is smaller than fifteen because this is a case of positive number. And minus twenty and minus two, one is positive and one is negative. Then always positive number is greater than the negative number. So these are a uh, few important points which you always have to keep in mind, and I am clearing these points with the help of these questions. And uh, as you can see, that what is written over here, that from the above exercise, we have arrived at the following conclusions. And what are the conclusions? That every positive integer is larger than every negative integer. Students, these are very important conclusions. So I will request all of you that please. keep these integer rules always in your mind and while revising the chapter always read these rules these rules will help you a lot not only in this chapter but in the coming one also so uh, what is the next one uh, important in conclusion that zero is less than every positive integer zero is less than every positive integer means zero is smaller from positive integers and zero is larger than every negative integer but zero is larger from the positive integers smaller from the positive and larger from the negative and zero is neither negative nor a positive integer and farther from a number zero on the right larger is its value what is it in over here farther a number from zero on the right to understand this point you can have a look at this number line at this number line please have a look to understand the point e that farther a number from zero on the right farther a number from zero on the right means in this direction larger is its value the value of the number whatever are written in the right hand side the value of these numbers is larger than the zero and farther a number from zero on the left on the left and which numbers are in the left of zero smaller is its value the value of all these number is smaller than zero value of all these negative number is smaller than zero so this is just a repetition of point c and point d that zero is uh smaller than the positive integer and zero is larger than the negative integer so dear students now i would like that uh, all of you should try some questions by your side by yourself and uh, as you have uh, been given uh, in your books example 1 which is your um, example 2 which is given here so you should try these examples yourself and now uh, i would help you regarding these some exercise questions though you do not have to do the complete exercise questions in your notebooks we will tell you in detail about it but if, uh, just for the clearing of the concepts i am going to solve some of these questions as the first question of exercise 6.1 says that write opposites of the following opposite as we all know that opposite means just the reverse uh, what is given increase in weight increase in weight means if it is being positive like weight is 51 means it is being 52 53 55 so what will be the opposite of this the opposite of this will be decrease in weight decrease in weight means minus 50 hai if the weight is 50 then uh, it decrease will be 49 48 so increase in weight opposite of its will be decrease in weight means it is decreasing 30 km to the north so what will be 
the opposite of north north is like this on the upper side so it suppose it will be to the south 30 kilometers to the south 80 meter east third part is 80 meter east now east is in this side so what will be it suppose it west 80 meter in the west loss of rupees 700 so what will be suppose it what is what can be the opposite of loss profit profit of rupees 700 100 meter above sea level if this is the level of the sea like this and this is the level then 100 meter above sea level then what will be the opposite that 100 meter down the sea level so uh, opposite means just the reverse of whatever is given the logic behind giving this type of question is just that you may be able to understand the concept of positive numbers and negative numbers that this there is also a opposite relation between positive numbers and the negative numbers that's why this concept of opposite question is given over here let's see the next question represent the following numbers as integers with appropriate signs means we have to represent these numbers as integers but there should be a proper sign sign can be of plus or of minus because we are having only two signs and integers so let's see the party an aeroplane is flying at a height 200 meter above the ground so if this is the ground an aeroplane is flying over here an aeroplane is flying 2000 meter above and when we are going above means we are increasing so what will be the representation of the integer what can be the integer 2000 is a number so this is an integer in this line and we have to represent it with an appropriate sign and because it is flying above and above means we are increasing the height so there will be a symbol of plus so how we will represent this we will represent it with plus 2000 2000 meter above the ground so the integer used in this part is 2000 and we are giving a plus sign with it because the height is increasing now looking at the part b a submarine is moving at a depth 800 meter below the sea level suppose this is the sea level right this is the sea level and they are saying that 800 meter below the sea level so below means we are going downwards and downwards means it is decreasing like in the uh, question above question plane we are going above it was increasing but when we are going from downside the level then it means it is decreasing so submarine is moving at a depth 800 meter below the sea level so what is the integer integer is 800 in this question and the appropriate sign will be of negative because we are going in depth and while going in depth it means we are at a negative side so that's why we will use the symbol of minus 800 the same way you have to do these parts also that is the part c and the part d so students from my side, I am trying my best to clear these questions and the concept to you. But if you face any problem, then you can mention the comment section that whatever problem you are having in every question you are having the problem, then mention them in the comment sections. And the next uh, question is represent the following numbers on the number line. I have told you very well how to represent the numbers on the number line that if uh, we have to represent the number on the number line then we represent the numbers like this zero is represented in the center in the positive side there is three one two three positive numbers in the negative uh, left hand side there are negative numbers so whatever number you have to represent so what you have to do you have to draw a number line in the right hand side of zero you will write the numbers from zero to ten all positive numbers in the negative side you will write all the negative numbers from zero to minus of ten and whatever number you have to represent like in the part d we have to represent minus of one then we will represent it like this we will encircle that number on the number line and it will be represented okay so this is the way we have to do this 
so student now i would like to full stop here i would like to stop here because i think the concepts i have shared and the question i have shared first you should revise these questions and then we should move ahead and uh, you don't need to do all the exercise questions in your fair notebook only the mind map uh, first you have to draw and rest of the things i'll share with you in the next video so till then keep practicing keep revising have a good day